Do you want to increase your productivity on social media? I'm Subi Zimmerman and today I'm going to teach you some tips and tricks on how to use Instagram on the desktop. I am really digging Instagram's updates for the desktop. And although you can't do everything from the computer that you can do from Instagram's mobile app, there's still a few tips that I have for you to save time and to help you maximize your engagement. So when you log in, this is what it looks like. Let me just get you situated with a couple of the icons. To the right of edit profile are three little dots. When you click into that, you can log out. So if you have more than one account, you can log out and easily log back in. On the top left, if you press either the word Instagram or the camera, it will take you to your news feed where you can view all the different photos from accounts that you follow. On the far right is your profile. It takes you back to home base, I like to say. To the left of that is your notifications. And I'm gonna talk about this in a little while. To the left of that is where you can discover people, places, and products based on your Instagram engagement. This is where Instagram is basically showing you potential accounts that you might want to follow based on your activity. In the middle, this is where you can search people, places, things, and use hashtags to check out what is being curated in a hashtag hub. I like to call it a hub. This is the community around a hashtag where people are using the word or the phrase of the word to curate content. So I'm using Cape Cod because this is where I frequently visit and live in the summer. So I always say spend time looking at the top nine of any hashtag hub versus the most recent because there's a reason these made it to the top and typically on Cape Cod you'll see a beautiful sunset maybe occasionally a rainbow especially over the Bourne Bridge or that might be the Sagamore Bridge and you'll see sunsets, sunrises or beautiful homes and cute puppies there's a lot of cute puppies and it looks like this is actually on the island of Nantucket not Cape Cod Nevertheless, I like to say spend time here looking at the photos and the reasons that you think they might have made it to the top, the photos and the videos. So definitely spend time there searching and looking. The notification tab is where you can look at who started following you, liked your photos, liked your videos, left you a comment. And I always say never leave a comment behind. So if someone's asked you a question, definitely go in there and answer it. So let's see if there's any activity here. And typically it goes back about 80 or so notifications. So it doesn't look like there's any active comments here. But let's see if we can find one. Oh, here's one. Okay, so this is a photo of me on the island of Nantucket. Let's scroll down and look at the comments. It looks like there's a few here that I missed. Nicole told me that she was in San Diego when I was there and she asked me when the workshop was. So I am gonna to respond to her and say, sorry, I missed you. Maybe next time. I I visit San Diego frequently. Oops, fast fingers here, folks. Okay, so smiley face, because I always like to leave a smiley face. So I say never leave a comment behind. And what I also might do is go into her account and at least check her out and say, go to her account and like her photo and then say, sorry, I missed you in San Diego. And leave her smiley face on her account too. So I responded on my feed and now I'm going over to her feed. So this is a way for you to actively engage from the desktop. I definitely think it saves time to look at it on a bigger screen. It's a lot easier to do it here sometimes than your mobile, right? So if you spend a lot of time at your desk and you're on your computer, definitely get in there. And then finally, 
I think that the easiest place to edit your profile is definitely the desktop, especially if you're going to change out your links. We typically change out our website link um, from driving traffic to our strategy guide or we put a link to our webinar or to our blog post. So it's just really easy to get in here and change it out. And for your bio, if you want to change up your bio, just pull down on the right corner and you can look at your whole bio, get in there and make any changes that you might might want to make, especially if you're going to change out from the link. Right now it's taking people to our webinar and then you can see the call to action free live webinar. But if we change this back to our strategy guide, I would then get in here and say, grab our free strategy guide. You just want to make sure that you press submit when you're done making changes to your bio. If you haven't logged into your computer, give it a try. These are great ways to save time. And as, as far as I'm concerned, time is money. And we always want to take shortcuts whenever we can to save time. For more Instagram strategies, you can download my free Instagram strategy guide right here in the description below. And as always, I want you to have a hashtag InstaAwesome Day.